Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutart and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and uh, Leo Rising general uh, <clears throat> weekly tarot reading for and the Normand for December 17th to December 23rd 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again that this is a general reading for Leo star signs and for that reason is going to resonate in a different level for every single different Leo in this planet. So for that purpose I will try here in this video my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread as well as I'm going to give a, a few examples <clears throat> but at the end uh, you have to be the one who makes uh, the sense of those cards and align them to your personal situation. Now, uh, if you want, you know, your personal situation to be discussed in a in a uh, private session and cards drawn for it specifically, then that is a subject of personal reading. And for personal readings, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. And uh, for the duration of December, the prices of the 20 and the 30 minutes personal tarot reading with me are um, reduced. So if you want to save some money and have answers to your questions, that is the way you do it. <clears throat> so these are the four general cards here for you that will be an uh, a, uh, enhanced tarot spread. So we are going to draw multiple cards per position, but just the over, uh, overview of the four main cards, it does look like a, a very positive week. As a matter of fact, this is going to be a week which is rather for you, Leo, deprived from very uh, big responsibilities for you to take on. For what it seems here, that is a week where you are to indulge yourself more into the pleasant side of the matter or to allow yourself to experience more pleasure than usual and uh, strain yourself away from uh, so-called chores in life. <clears throat> so the uh, general card or the very topic of the week, this is going to be the Six of Cups um, accompanied by the Sun card. Not a, a very potent situation here. We do have natural enemies, but that doesn't mean that, uh, how can I place it? that your week is going to go is going to go into the bad side of the spectrum it's not going to now what the sun here does it's actually uh, making you uh, attend to a much more milder extent toward a, a people who has uh, let's say affinity to take advantage of your kindness and to boss you around but that doesn't mean here that you are going to be taken advantage of it is just this is a prerequisite for you all right but not something that necessarily is going to take place the thing with this combination here all right is that the Sun card may, uh, with the Six of Cups it does make you more naive than usual so throughout that week you are to be more naive than usual but in the same time you are to experience much more pleasure in the things that you are doing and with the people that you are involving yourself um, which you know and in general the enterprises that you are uh, investing in, is, in investing in it is because you will not have the affinity to um, nefarious needs you will not have an affinity for a uh, surreptitious actions as well and etc etc and therefore all those cards all these cards here are pointing that you are going to aim to experience the very pleasure of whatever you do it is because this is how you're gonna face it with candor and with sincerity <clears throat> so you can uh, just to give you a more practical meaning of those cards you can expect that into your career all right um, arguments in between you and co-workers to start to start the dropping down and no longer being taking place which is going to create more natural environment for you to do your job and if we talk about relationships not necessarily a romantic one but more like a, a friendship as well type of relationships these cards here are pointing that people are likely to see more uh, how can I place a more cheerful 
person within you and yet a, a person who definitely realizes the backlash and the consequences of, of one action <clears throat> and through it not seeing the uh, the ir irresponsible part but yet joyful part within you it is likely that you are to attract much more friends and who knows maybe a, a potential suitor if you are finding yourself alone in this cold world so <clears throat> this is the overall the uh, implementation of those couple of cards or uh, incarnation should I say in these uh, uh, in these couple of cards maybe I'm going to add different things depending on what cards are going to um, <clears throat> pop up here with the, the next um, with the next position but all in, or, but in general is that you are to experience the uh, your undertakings and your uh, enterprises throughout the week on the bright side of light of life excuse me so what we do have here it is the core of the situation eight of wands followed with the um, chariot card so what it actually does <clears throat> It does gives a the glimpse of your seriousness, or rather, it does point of how much more mature you have became on taking on those interactions with people or projects at work as well. And while in the same time, you know, with your seriousness, you are not ruining ruining the uh, positive aspect of the undertaking itself. It is literally what those cards are doing. So now the chariot card here is a water card combined with the fire card. It just extinguish the unpredictability and the uh, recklessness from the eight of wands as the eight of wands represents a uh, <clears throat> multiple options available and multiple uh, opportunities coming in your way which one frantically tries to utilize and capitalize on without putting much of a consideration what is to be the outcome of that and in the same time the chariot negates that negative effect and put its own positive effect here of being much more uh, calculative you know trying to prepare first and then act on a second time um, or on a second page if I may express myself that way <clears throat> So one can uh, first extend the possibilities of achieving great things and second uh, make a, a solid background and a solid foundation from which one can make, can make a, a big job moving on. Fourth. Now the only thing that really worries me about that, uh, about that combination here is, is that <clears throat> As soon as one or you, Leos, are finding what really thrills you and makes you feel very joyful, joyful and very creative, and you generally see a huge droppings of blockages here, especially when they involve other people into the equations. You know, you had fights with your boyfriend or a girlfriend. Now, throughout the week, you are going to see that those fights no longer takes place. You know, you do have fights with your family. They will no longer be in there. I mean, attempts for uh, <clears throat> recuperating the relationship is going to be taken and etc etc same goes for your career you may become a little bit more cocky and you may uh, how can I place it with these cards as a foundation you may try to just bury unsolved problems uh, beneath the curtain or behind the curtain the curtains <clears throat> which unsolved problems may reappear further into the future so it's very important here looking at these cards if you have the opportunity or rather like if you have the option available to attend to uh, predicaments and problems which are lingering around you not to postpone those kind of actions but truly aim to kind of like solve as much issues as possible around you while in the same time you know you have fun and you have exhilaration from the enterprises that you are involving yourself at the next card here that we do have this is going to be the four of wands <clears throat> which is the challenge that it is causing predicament and what that card here really does in condition with the eight of pentacles is that <clears throat> i think we had it with a different combination for one of the previous signs but that card really points that you have so much more to accomplish here i mean it does point that you are covering just the bare minimum of efforts either into your career and either into your into your relationship and if you think that this is if you 
you kind of like you listen to that reading and you say why are you talk what are you talking about i mean i'm trying everything i can well then you, these cards are pointing that you definitely are not utilizing on a specific resource that you do have you know or a specific leverage as well that you do possess and etc etc very important here is not to experiment as well experimenting is not going to give a, a great result when we do have these cards as a matter of fact the experimenting with one uh, enterprise and with one agenda for example one relationship or one project is only going to cause more predicaments what one really needs to do is kind of like pick up one option available pick up one direction and start working toward it until one kind of develops it to a, a mere perfection that is kind of important but in the same time one should not be extremely meticulous all right because we cannot reach a hundred percent capacity that is called in physics that is called perpetuum mobile and no one in this universe cannot reach it you always have less than a hundred percent success into one or another thing this is basically how the physics how the universe works so don't try to uh, just because you do have a, a very petite and small un a small unaccomplished points into your expectations do not allow those points to be stuck into working over one thing and just you know try and, and just repeating the same thing excuse me over and over again because even if you be able to accomplish these small points all right and other points are going to appear i mean there what the <clears throat> what the mantra here is is that you can always do something better and no matter how good you are remember that there is always someone out there in this world that it is a little bit better than you are so kind of like you also need to have a, a glimpse of where your um, it's not even limits you know but uh, efficiency lies right because one could do a specific thing with less efficiency while if one attend to a different to us to a different extent of that thing to be much more efficient with of course different means but before we go to the um, <clears throat> To the overall guidance card here which is the justice card what we do have once again it is a week for you Leo, which you are to experience unusual pleasure of attending to your enterprises and that is due to the fact that you have established a, a much more mature way to approach them that is actually uh, recognized by the people that you're working with or the people which are involved into those situations and they are to appreciate it and on top of that other people which are yet to be involved are to see it and therefore you will be able to attract more uh, human power into your projects or more people into your social circle or if you are single we do have a, a very good chance here to make a, a to kind of like attract a, a potential suitor now a couple of words here in case that is the last thing <clears throat> or the last example it is your thing uh, it will be very important to first uh, examine that person and to make your research about them because these cards in that specific case only in that specific case of making new relationship are pointing that one could prematurely jump into it and then slightly regrets uh, to regret about it because one will realize that they could have done it into a much greater um, how can I place conditions? And on top of that, you are to find that there were some issues that are still hunting you that you had to resolve before you actually jump into a, such a relationship. But at the end, we do have the Justice card, which is accompanied by the Seven of Wands. And that maturity actually is going to be the key. So while you are experiencing pleasures into your enterprises regarding relationship or career-wise, it will be very important here to very well systemize your priorities. Because what we do have is the Seven of Wands. And that is a sign that someone is waiting for you to do the wrong thing you're not gonna do it throughout the week but they are waiting for you all right and by you making a, a, a kind of like tighter structure 
or you structuring your priorities more tight than they are right now, the less room for error it is what you're going to have and therefore that people are to wait for an, for a eternity for you to make the wrong step. That could be a competition, so let's say that you are uh, trying to apply for a, a promotion here, you know, but you do have a competition and that competition may not be revealed yet or uh, that could be someone else who is keeping a, a silent treatment about their intentions and etc, etc and they are just waiting for you to make a wrong, a wrong step or to make an error so they can kind of reveal that error in front of your boss and uh, to diminish you know your uh, the positivity of your efforts so uh, that will be the very reason why you have to keep everything checked everything at sight all right but in the same time not to be scattered with it but just take on every single priority once at a time uh, the uh, advice of the judgment here is the of the justice excuse me is that you attend to only those uh, priorities and predicaments to toward which you do possess the means in order to resolve and as you resolve them, another means or additional means are going to come in your way through which you will be able to resolve even further predicaments. So that will be an important week overall for you, Leo, in which week you are to boost your confidence, you are to boost your uh, pleasant experience from, what, from whatever you are doing or whatever plans you do have for throughout the week. And in the same time is going to make your, uh, how can I place it, your environment much more structural and much less uh, kind of like uh, vulnerable excuse me for uh, for making errors <clears throat> so now we are going to do the Lenormand card reading which will consist of a three cards and these three cards are going to show us a uh, event that uh, you Leo should either um, look forward to or uh, try to avoid. So let's see what we got. Now the first one, this is going to be the fox. Now the fox could stand for different things, all right? It could stand for lie, it could stand for intrigue, it could stand for clever and cunning, all right? And it could stand as well as a worker, someone or from your work, like a co-worker, all right? The next one that is going to be the star card. So the star in Lenormand, it is a about finding a way, finding the right way through, which is a, a very good addition here by you having pleasures or having pleasure in systemizing your uh, your priorities much more accurately than before, not allowing them to scatter around. It is most likely this is what's going to happen. You will have a, a much more clear uh, perception and understanding what you should do from now on in order to be much more productive. And the last card that we do have, this is going to be the... Uh, <clears throat> the whip and the broom which generally speaks for disputes competition uh, wrangles as well and etc etc so uh, this card these cards here are speaking that you are to argue with a co-worker of yours or someone that is involved with you uh, in a, in a professional way about how you should proceed with uh, with a certain undertaking, with a certain project, or uh, if you are to establish a business with someone, that is going to be an arguing here of how the business should be established. And again, we are coming back to the uh, to the four of. Uh, wants to the eight of pentacles which points that yeah you can make it as perfect as possible but perfect as possible does not mean a hundred percent of perfection you need to allow a, a small margin of imperfection to be um, incorporated in whatever project and undertaking especially career wise is uh, you are to attend to so with that being said leos this was your uh, General Tarot and Lenormand reading, weekly one for December 17 to December 23rd, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, again, this was just a general reading for Leo Star Sign. And for that reason, this reading is going to resonate in a different level for every single different Leo in this world. So if you want a... <clears throat> 
a personal session where your situation is going to be uh, analyzed through the tarot cards then uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal reading you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing and if you do so don't forget that the prices of the 20 and the 30 minutes live reading with me are with reduced costs for the duration of the month of December. Rat signing out now, see you next time, bye!